Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for May 16th. May 16th is the 136th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 137th in leap years, with 229 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is pristine. Pristine is an adjective that means belonging to the earliest period or state. Original, not spoiled, corrupted, or polluted, as by civilization. Pure, fresh and clean, or as if new. Some example sentences using the word pristine might include, the hiker stumbled upon a pristine waterfall, or the archaeologist discovered a pristine artifact, or the beach revealed its pristine beauty at sunrise. The word pristine comes to us from Latin. First known use of the word pristine is 1534 pristine. And with that, the United States Congress established the nickel on May 16, 1866. We hear the name Tesla, Tesla, Tesla all over the place these days, and I'm sure you know that the Tesla car company is named after Nikola Tesla. On May 16, 1888, Nikola Tesla delivered a lecture describing equipment which would allow efficient generation and use of alternating currents to transmit electric power over long distances. Three years later, on May 16, 1891, the International Electrotechnical Exhibition opened in Frankfurt, Germany and featured the world's first long-distance transmission of high-power three-phase electric current. Now just yesterday it was that Janet Jackson had a number one song for the song of the day, so I was delighted to be reminded that today is her birthday, born May 16, 1966. The youngest child of the Jackson family, she began performing in 1974, when she will have been about eight years old. I counted 11 albums, four remix albums, something like 65 singles, plus some other singles where she participated or was featured, and this doesn't even include her videos or movie parts. Unfortunately, in 2004, an incident occurred during a pretty major performance that some found shocking. I believe her when she says it was an accident, and she apologized, but was blacklisted by the industry, resulting in reduced radio airtime and television promotions, and also resulting in reduced sales. She's a pro, though. She went independent, <laughs> forming her own label. Amazing force, Janet Jackson. She's sold over 100 million records and is one of the world's best-selling music artists. Now, in case you'd like to see what I talked about in a previous episode for May 16th, I'll pop a link up there for you. Today's song is With or Without You by U2. This was on their Joshua Tree album, and was released in March of 1987. It was their most successful single at the time and their first number one hit, landing in the top spot on the Billboard Hot 100 on May 16, 1987 for the first of three weeks. With or Without You features a prototype instrument called the Infinite Guitar that holds a note for a long time. With or Without You is U2's most frequently covered song and is included in Rolling Stone Magazine's 500 Greatest Songs of All Time. With or Without You by U2, number one on May 16, 1987. Link in the description. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called No Really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Alrighty, back to work. I think we got it this time.